Okay, all the way from Mexico, uh, which is, I believe, where this comes from, is a Carlos V bar uh, from Nestle, uh, as a matter of fact, which, of course, is a Swedish company. Um, it is a Carlos V chocolate bar. It's a brand of uh, Mexican chocolate bar that was been produced since the 1970s uh, in Mexico uh, and launched in 2005 in the U.S. by Nestle. Uh, this is a Nestle-owned version. Uh, it's named in honor of Carlos V, who is the Holy Roman Emperor, um, and their marketing slogan is, quote, the King of Chocolates. A uh, company, uh, company that owned it was known as La, La Azteca uh, until the 1990s when they sold the company's uh, stakes to uh, Nestle. Um, now, I believe they were also a subsidiary of Quaker Oats for a time, uh, up until the uh, sale to Nestle back in the uh, 90s. But this is... Uh, little chocolate bar here uh, looks like it's just milk chocolate um no nuts or anything in it uh nice picture of looks like the king carlos who else would it be carlos the fifth uh so let's open it up and see what we got here see if we have any different kind of tastes of a chocolate bar i've never had uh, uh just a plain milk chocolate bar from nestle before you know of course when you think nestle a lot of times you think nestle crunch uh, as far as chocolate bars go um, but yeah, this one's going through a little bit of, uh, of, uh, discoloring, um, in the oxidation process, I'm sure. It smells very good. It smells very, uh, rich. And uh, on the top of this, it says, Sumerje el Buzo. And it looks like, almost like this is like a ruler, like taking a measurement or something like that. It looks like, uh. One, two, three, four, five. This looks like a four inch long chocolate bar, I guess. So let's get the taste now and let's see if this uh, oxidation factor factor. It never does. I mean, it, it looks like it's not good, but um, shouldn't factor too much into the taste. Crunchy. Maybe a little old tasting. Maybe it's gone through its, uh, its time. Um, best by date is March 31st, 2016, so it's before that, but it's kind of your run-of-the-mill standard kind of a milk chocolate bar, so there you have it. That is Carlos Vivith. Five.